This ball is crushed. What's going on, guys? Coach Austin here with Raging Cages. And for today's Wisdom Wednesday, we're going to bring you the deficiencies in the youth model today in the game of baseball. It's a big topic my dad liked to talk about, um, and it's becoming more and more of an issue in today's game. So to start it off, we're going to talk about the removal of the bench model. Uh, it does not prepare them for reality. And by the bench model, um, I mean the fact that today we're so worried about getting every single kid playing time that they don't know what it's like to sit the bench. Um, and that doesn't prepare them for down the road. Down the road, there's so many ups and downs. You can get fired. Somebody can take your place. And they're not going to be ready for that because they were just handed everything from the beginning. So there needs to be less of the removal of the bench model in today's game. If, if they are not outworking the person in front of them, then they sit the bench. That's just what it is. Okay? Um, we should train five days and play one day. Uh, we, we tend to get that a little bit backwards and work about uh, just worry about the first, the first game. When is the game? The game this, the game that, and we we're not focused on training. We need to have our focus on training and let that training transfer into the game. Um, but today we just have that backwards. Everybody just wants to go straight into the game and worry less about putting the work in. Um, we need to have more focus on real baseball, and by real baseball I mean bunting practice, rounding bases, cutoff assignments. Okay, I can't tell you how, how many times a kid comes in here and I ask him if he knows how to bunt, and every time he says no. Um, we need to learn how to round, round bases and get to the next base. Um, I, I've seen plenty of outfielders get the ball and they don't know where to throw it. They just throw it directly back into the infield. All of this comes back to our coaches. We need to teach more real baseball. Stop worrying about mechanical issues and let's focus on the game of baseball, because that's, that's the knowledge that needs to be passed down. Then we can worry about the other things later, but the real baseball comes first. On top of that, we need to teach more compete. Um, there's, you know, we get reprimanded by the, the soft society today, and we need to have that compete. That's on and off the field hustle. I can't stand when kids walk on and off the field, okay? It's a disrespect to the game. Uh, it shows that you don't want to be there. Uh, it takes zero talent to hustle. Um, so they need that, that comes into practice. When you're practicing, get them on and off the field without walking. No pouting. Uh, I see it constantly in here in our camps that we have. Uh, the moment someone loses or they don't, they don't get things their way, they pout. Uh, that also, everything goes back to the practice. Teach no pouting. Uh, that that's also goes back to the everyday life thing. That's not going to get them far in life. We have to have a so what mentality. And by that, we mean when something bad happens, so what? Move on. Okay? It's not going to be the last time something bad happens to you in this sport. So you got to have that so what mentality to say, so what? Who cares? Go to the next thing. To end it off, uh, you let, for my coaches, let development happen. The process can be ugly. Okay, it's not always going to be pretty, but do not get frustrated with them. Let the development happen. Okay, let the process work. Trust the process. Yeah, I see too many coaches get frustrated immediately when a kid doesn't get nothing. And the process could be ugly, but you just got to let that happen. Okay, so this, is, this was a big issue for me. It was a big issue for my dad. Um, it, ne it needs to be handled, and it starts with our coaches. Okay, so um, take a few of those tips. Work on it. Work to get your kids better, uh, both mentally and physically, so they can be prepared for baseball, and not only baseball, but life after baseball. Okay, um, make sure to tune in uh, tomorrow for our drills. Uh, make sure to share. It helps us. It helps everybody else see them. And as always, continue to work while you wait.